In the first video on partial differentiation, we saw that if we had some function z made up of two variables x and y, we could differentiate the function with respect to the first variable by keeping the second variable constant, or we could differentiate the function with respect to the second variable by keeping the first variable constant. Now, these two partial derivatives are themselves functions of x and y, so that means we could differentiate them a second time to give a second order partial derivative. So if we take the first partial derivative dz dx and differentiate this function with respect to x keeping y constant, we get d2z dx squared. If we take this function and differentiate with respect to y keeping x constant, we get d2z dy dx. Now similarly, if we take the second partial derivative dz dy and differentiate this with respect to x keeping y constant, we get d2z dx dy. And if we differentiate it with respect to y keeping x constant, we get d2z dy squared. So as you can see, there are four derivatives from a function containing two variables, as in this case, which are x and y. Now, it can also be shown that the values of d2z dx dy are the same as the values of d2z dy dx for all functions which are continuous. So let's have a look at an example. Here we're given a function z that depends on two variables x and y and we're asked to find the second order partial derivative d2z dx squared and the second order partial derivative d2z dy squared. And we're also asked to show that d2z dx dy is equal to d2z dy dx. So to calculate the second order partial derivative d2z dx squared, we first calculate the first order partial derivative dz dx, and we do this by differentiating z with respect to x, keeping y constant. So if we differentiate x cubed, we get 3x squared. If we differentiate y cubed, we get 0, because y is considered a constant. And if we differentiate minus 2x squared y, we can group the 2 and the y together as a constant, so differentiating x squared, we get 2x. So 2 by 2x, 2y will give 4y. So this will be minus 4yx. So the first order partial derivative, dz dx, is 3x squared minus 4yx. And now we want to differentiate this again. And once again, we keep x constant, and uh, sorry, y constant, and differentiate with respect to x. So differentiate 3x squared, we get 6x. And differentiate minus 4yx, we group the 4 and the y together as a constant, so this just gives minus 4y. So next we want to calculate the second order partial derivative d2z dy squared. So first we calculate the first order partial derivative dz dy, and we do this by differentiating z with respect to y, keeping x constant. So if we differentiate x cubed, we get 0. Differentiate y cubed, we get 3y squared. And differentiate minus 2x squared y, we get minus 2x squared. So we differentiate this again to get the second order partial derivative. And again, we keep um, x constant and differentiate with respect to y. So differentiating 3y squared, we get 6y. And differentiating minus 2x squared, we get 0, because x is considered a constant. So the second order partial derivative d2z dy squared is equal to 6y. So finally, we need to show that d2z dx dy is equal to d2z dy dx. Now, d2z dx dy is the partial derivative of dz dy with respect to x. So we differentiate dz dy, which we had earlier, as 3y squared minus 2x squared. So differentiate this with respect to x, keeping y constant, Differentiate 3y squared, we get 0. And differentiate minus 2x squared with respect to x, we get minus 4x. Now we differentiate dz dx with respect to y. Now dz dx is 3x squared minus 4yx. And we differentiate this with respect to y, keeping x constant. 
So we differentiate 3x squared, we get 0, because this is considered a constant. And differentiate minus 4yx will be minus 4x. So as we can see, d2z dx dy is equal to d2z dy dx. So here are some more questions that you could try. And in each case, you should show that d2z dx dy is equal to d2z dy dx. Thank you.